Well, well, well. If it isn't everybody's favorite time of the night. Oh, gosh. Would you look at the time, everybody? It's time to rainbow it up. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, we're back for another amazing night of uh, Rainbow Six Vegas. Last we left off, we made slightly little progress, and we got impeded because of a few things. Mainly, uh... <clears throat> little glitches here and there, but, you know, that seems to be our lot in life. So, we'll, we'll figure things out. It's okay. We have, uh, gotten over worse. Trust me when I say that. I've done a lot worse. But that's okay. That's what we're here to do. But enough talk. We've talked enough. Let me go ahead and get everything set up for you folks. I know why you're here. We're here for one thing and one thing only. There we go. Hey, hey, hey Grant. Hey, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, the blue How's it going tonight? What the hell am I going doing here? Fuck you, Mongolian! Don't you break down my wall! Get out of here, fucking oh. Mongolian! <laughs> God damn it, I how come every time that, I stand here put you. up a wall so the Mongolians have to come and knock it down? Yeah, we're gonna be getting some good old-fashioned OG Rainbow Tactical Forces in place. Just give me a second, I gotta set everything up because this game is not exactly... I don't want to say easy, but it's a little challenging to start on uh, on Windows 10. Basically, uh, you know, this used to run back on Windows 98 days, so the hoops I have to get this thing to jump through is just incredible. But regardless, you can get it somewhat functional. Uh, All righty. Let's go ahead and uh, see here at this button right here. There we are. Perfect. All right, bottoms up. I'm not gonna lie, that is still my favorite sound to hear. The year. I love hearing that over and over again. Every single time, I'm telling you. I enjoy every minute of that. Alrighty. Well, the best part is also Discord keeps thinking I'm playing Rainbow Six Siege. Which is, of course, very, very nice. Alright. Operation Red Wolf. Operation Red Wolf. Okay. The last few times I actually did successfully do this, except for the fact that the game basically says, Oh, sorry, we didn't spawn everybody on here, so you're kind of fudged. Because not only did we not spawn everybody, we didn't spawn all the, uh... Yeah, what you, what you call it's All the hostages, either. So I just kind of made for a fun viewing experience. Alright, so he's on this side. There we are. Okay. Here comes our terrorist friend over here. Just gonna wait for him to come in here, and we're just gonna give him a piece of our mind. Yeah. Perfect. Right, he's down. And we're just going to go ahead and keep on going. And there's this guy up here. Who 
And then there's his buddy who just kind of fidgets around and doesn't realize that his partner is dead. There we go. Alright. We got those guys. Now we're going to go... We are now going to go ahead and drop uh, our friends over here. This one in the back. One in the back. Flashbang. There we go. Okay, this is what I'm talking about, where I didn't actually spawn all the hostages. It's all right. Practically do this with my eyes closed now. Let's hope for a smooth transition. Get these schmuggies out of here. you guys here. I'm gonna go engage our douchebaggery friends over here. Alrighty then. Yeah, that's all it takes, folks. But unfortunately, I had to. Apparently, one of my guys had to die like a gigantic Dickensian. So, we're back at this again. Oh, Jesus. You know, I don't think so. I don't think I could actually die if I took took a round wearing full and full right gear. But you know what? That that's just the way the game works, right? But I can't wait to actually do this again and then the game basically tell me, "Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. You didn't do it properly. We uh it was our fault that uh you lost somebody." Yeah. Got to make everything god bots.
I mean, let's be real here. If I could have that kind of damage, I wouldn't be having this issue before. Before, but these guys not even kitted up or wearing any body armor at all, and just suddenly taking rounds like a champ. Doesn't that, your objective actually is not to kill all the hostages, uh, to kill all the terrorists, it's just to escort all the hostages out. Which is great and all, but for some reason or another you don't ever get the victory for it, because these are the only two hostages in the building. There should have been a third one, of course, but apparently that, no matter how many times you do it, he never spawns. Because reasons. But if you're probably wondering, the disc version of the game actually is not this buggy. This only happens because, well, you know, porting a game is very, very hard if you're lazy. Yep. Call waiting. Oh, shit. Hello? Khaled Turjman, kifak habibi? Wrong number. Kifak habibi, is George Abu Muhor, shub tehki. Hey, hello, wrong number. Shub tehki, an jad? Anta atati? All right, look, man. I got my hand on my dick right now, okay? And I'm trying to have sex with my girlfriend over the phone. Emni, good for you, man. Allahu Akbar. Okay. Hey. Hey. Sorry about that. Where were we? I think you were reaching for something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Heather. I'm rubbing and I feel so good. <sighs> hey, Oz, I'm touching myself. What else do you want me to do? Oh, Heather, baby. Why don't you tell me my dick is as big as Stifler's? Stifler, get off! I am getting off just listening to the two of you guys. Keep going. I think we should try this another time. Yeah, all right. Bye bye. So I love he was you. looking at I the flashbang. Oh, come but... on, you guys. I was almost there. Nice talking with you, Steven. Stifler, man! <sighs> Never forget, folks. He's... The flashbang popped right on there, and if it was anybody but me, they're not going to react to it. But in this game, oh, no. You're going to get blinded for about three seconds, four seconds. That's the usual. The enemy? Oh, nope. They're barely going to get blind. A split second. That's just the rules. Well, you know what it probably was? It's probably those big iron bars, the ones with the holes in them. That was probably blocking that flashbang. Yeah. From what exactly? Okay, so he saw me but didn't see this person. Okay. You know what? You stay down there, you asshole. You're gonna sit there and be stupid all your life? You can't take a bullet anymore. You disgrace to that uniform. God, some veteran you are. Prick can't even take a bullet. Even in full body armor, Prick can't take a bullet.
Yep. Alright, you're up, Russian boy. Let me see those moves. Filatov. The Russian and the German should be able to handle this, right? Right? Right. Okay. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go plug our friend over here first. I'm going to leave the other guy alone. I'm going to go downstairs. Just got to modify my plan slightly just to make it work, but that's okay. That's all part of the job. Clear, clear, and more clear. Ow! Oh. Bitch! I don't even know what the hell happened. It was your first assignment. Frickin' prick. First assignment he gets taken down. like yep we have a bad case of who did it because it's once again guys missing because that's what this game does loves doing this over and over again he should either be here or at the very least above here but he's neither just simply does not exist. Because the game basically says so. So what you end up having to do, of course, is just go in to do this. To reload Operation the whole Red damn Wolf. thing. Makes retrying the action pointless. You might as well just retry the plan. Ugh. I love
love these lazy Saturdays. It's Wednesday, Homer. Ah, work! Oh, I love these real Saturdays. They're so relaxing. I like that fake Saturday that almost got me fired. <sighs> Is this all we're going to do today? Absolutely. just be three hostages there and I can escort them and then we'd all be able to go home and eat cake. But we can't do that because apparently, like I said, the game, this game, uh, the GOG version, I should say, is just thoroughly bugged where it just does not let you do that. Sweet home. <coughs> Excuse me. It's no day. Way to go, Dips. You ruined my punk. You son of a son of a bitch. Want something to rock? Yeah, do it yourself. You did. Operation. I'm waiting for orders. It's not that I couldn't figure this out. It's just that there's always something that just interferes with it. Case in point, uh, dumbass over here gets hit with bullets and doesn't know what to do so she decides that the best way to solve said problem is to simply keep absorbing bullets bullets from an AK-47 ladies and gentlemen this again. Hopefully my teammates aren't stupid enough to be stupid.
Not stupid enough to be stupid, but definitely stupid enough to stand in my general direction. One second, folks. One second. All right, sorry about that, folks. Okay. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Terrorists. Status. Waiting for orders. Looks quiet. Waiting for orders. No tangles in sight. Waiting for orders. No tangles in sight. All right. Wow. Wow. Wowie wow wow folks. There is what are you guys doing? Whatever. Well, they're not dead, so I guess that's a bonus. They just got wounded, both of the idiots. One of them on their first assignment, the other one uh, apparently he's very, very slow on the draw. The other one was facing the wrong direction. Like a, like a Dickensian. Let's jam.
He's hanging out in the restroom, I see. Hallelujah, folks, we did it. We did it. Yeah, no. Let's see here. This is mission number 10. Operation Razor Ice. The Phoenix Group has kidnapped Dr. Winston from her hotel. They've been tracked to the freighter Orca's Smile, anchored in Southampton Harbor. The terrorists have threatened to blow it up if the boarding is mission is to rescue... Uh, yeah. Uh, six inch on wheat. Um, no mail. Uh, hang on. Uh, Dr. Weir? My ass has finally decided to eat my hand! It hungers for more! Scotland Yard trailed them. Uh, yeah, just the one home. Sorry, I wasn't listening to you there, John. I was uh, a little busy. Okay. Looks like Daniel's back. Let's see here. Well, Dindy did pretty good. So did Carl. Timothy, let's see. David. Ah. Called Mama. Eh? See if she took a butter ball out of the truck. A butter ball turkey. Hey, I'm a Roger. How are you? Doing good, doing good. Let me give me a call then. I had a butter ball turkey for Roger. Wow. Yeah, you can. Uh, Dad wanted to know if you took a butterball turkey out of the truck. She took it and put it and gave it to Dino and then Dino put it in Ashley's freezer. Jesus Christ. That was Roger's butterball. That was Roger's turkey mom. Yeah, oh, shoot. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll text him and have him bring it. No, never mind. Leave it alone. I'll get to him. Are you? Huh? It's all right. Leave it the way it is. No, I don't want to talk to him. Leave it the way it is. Sorry, Mike. Yeah, it says leave it alone. He said he'll get another one for Roger. Okay, Mom. Lay then, Mom. He's outside talking with him right now. Hang on. Sorry about that, folks. I do thank you for hanging in here. <sighs> never a dull moment in our house. I will say that much. It is never a dull moment here. All right. Enough drama. Let's get to some real drama. Let's see here. Who is... You're still wounded. You're still good. Carl, welcome back. Okay. Let's see. There we are. 
Okay, we're rescuing hostages again, and we're being in close quarters. Okay, pays to be silent. Alrighty. Except for Lars here, Lars packs the big one. I think that'll work, but actually, you know what? No flashbangs. Let's go ahead and do heartbeat sensor. There we are. Perfect. Okay, I had you, 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 and you. Alright, you have to be here. You go here, you go here, and you go here. Perfect. Alright, um... If our memory serves me right, this is a rather big open area. We're gonna be using here. Uh, yeah. Yep. All right. We will try it this way. Since we're just rescuing the good doctor. <sighs> well, here goes nothing. I'm sorry, did I say here goes nothing? I mean, here goes me getting shot in the face because the enemy's literally right there. Operation Razor Ice. Not exactly our best foot forward. Chance. But. On the count of three, we'll jump out and surprise him. Oh boy, a surprise party! Is it his birthday? You're welcome. There we go. Okay. I forgot to switch back to my gun. I forgot about that. You'll forgive me, folks. I seem Operation to be not on my up. best foot forward anymore. the game crashed. Perfect. Why would I expect anything less? No, no, don't, don't! Son of a bitch. Operation Razor. Waiting for orders. Uh. Waiting for orders. 
Yes, yes, whatever. Everybody's waiting for orders. Under fire. Taking fire. Uh. Okay. Alrighty then. Bridge is secure. Yay team. what the heck that was about, but whatever. making sure there's no chances. I really don't like surprises, folks. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the most important rule about uh, gunplay is that no matter who you're fighting, they're always going to take more bullets than you. Can, than you. No. Yeah, Dad. You said she gave the butterfly to Ashley? No, she gave the turkey to Dino, so she he took it to Ashley's to put it in her freezer. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're getting there, folks. 
We're getting there. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Operation Razor Eye. Sneaking fire. So, well, just I'm, I'm just curious. Your delayed reaction to the shooting was because why? Was it because you're too stupid? The 20s! Operation. ¿Dónde demonios estabas? Es más de la una y media de la mañana. Eso no significa que no Giggity puede vivir. Maldita sea, Giggity. A veces me pones furiosa. No puedo hablar contigo, Giggity, cuando te pones así. Me voy a ver los toros, Giggity, Giggity, Giggity. These people piss me off like to no end. Why do I even bother? Why did I even crawl out of bed? I mean, I should just go lay into the grass and become moss. So do I get a, like, a chance to respond, or is that just just the standard operating procedure of every game, just to make every buddy a god bot? Oh my god. There's shit everywhere. There's shit everywhere! Damn it! There's shit on the windows! Oh my god! My house is full of shit! He's shit everywhere! Look what he's getting shit all over the wall! Oh. 
All right. There's the dock. Get up the stairs. Dude, who the stage work? Yes. God help you if you don't know how to climb a ladder, I'm gonna get pissed. Race Furioso. Ugh. Jesus Christ, folks. That was an OG one, but, you know, it's... Uh. Operation Yellow Knife. Anne Lang, the U.S. Presidential Science Advisor, has been implicated as Rainbow's security leak. Your mission is to infiltrate her estate in Alexandria, Virginia, and gather intelligence about her connection with the Phoenix Group terrorists. The plot thickens. I never trusted that woman. And Horizon is involved, too. Maybe even John Breitling himself. Until we know exactly who's on our side, I'm assuming personal control of this entire operation. Our cover story will be that Catherine died on board the Orca's Smile. That should buy us some time. The bug doesn't just resemble Ebola Brahma. It is Ebola Brahma. It's a modified version of my cattle virus they're using. I figured it out the night I was kidnapped. The genetic sequences are virtually identical. I called Anne right away and told her that Phoenix must have a source inside you Horizon. Took my she told me not to contact food. anyone else, no that she report to John and send a car for him. Thirty minutes later, the brute squad was kicking. <laughs> Oh. All right. Uh I'll take the electrician specialist. Let's take a look here. 
It's first floor. Third floor. Okay. Yep, <clears throat> ain't getting any younger, folks. Waiting for orders. Where is he going? He's going around the house, chilling. Oh, we're not supposed to kill anybody. Operation Yellow Knife. Alright, good to know that all I have to do is just kind of sneak around him. So just gotta wait for this pansy to move, and then we'll be good to go! Garden. Ah, uh, it's Brian. Uh, User entered your channel. Err, I'm alive right now. What's going on there, Brain? Yeah, that's right, because you got the time off, man. Early yep. game stream. Yep. Hey, uh, what do you what do you think about uh uh dude uh, technically Grant should be able to join us, right? Uh Grant, I think well, he's actually watching my stream right now. He said he was doing some homework right now, so he's kind oh, of... Oh, okay, yeah, he said he was getting something like that. Okay, well, if he's watching the stream right now and listening, but I'm assuming that he's not listening because he's probably listening to lectures. Probably, um, but he did say he was lurking, so he could probably hear us. Okay, because I had an idea. Uh, I was uh, We started playing Resident Evil 5 uh, the other day. Oh, nice. And... Uh, and, I, and now I came up with the idea. I'm like, uh, Friday is Black Friday, right? Yeah. So he can have a Black Friday stream, and we'll play Resident Evil 5. He'll, and he'll entitle it uh, Black Friday Stream. So, yeah. 
The yep. year is 1999. So what's all this talk I hear about Halo Infinite? Oh, uh, Chris wants to give it a go. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep. Uh, looks like Chris hasn't uh, he hasn't played a new game in what six years. <laughs> uh, Operation like Yellow that. Knife. Yeah, he's uh, Halo Infinite's. It's not not good. Like it functions mechanically, but it's like having a sandwich that has a thin slice of meat and nothing else. Do you? Is it really a sandwich at that point? I don't know. Maybe. It's like having... I'm not a sandwich two, engineer. I didn't go to sandwich college. It's like having a thin slice of meat between two buns. That's what Halo uh, I didn't, is. Oh, I didn't go you, to sandwich college, so I don't know. You take a bite in it, and you're like, oh, yeah, there's some meat in here. I can taste something. Yeah, okay. But I didn't go there's to sandwich bread, college. And there's some meat, and yeah. But All I didn't right, go to sandwich this, this college. Is a, I could eat this sandwich. There's some meat, and there's some bread. But yeah. I didn't go to sandwich college, so I don't know. <laughs> That's basically Halo Infinite. Like, literally, what the hell is the point of having optical camouflage when I can't do anything with it? Like, what in the world is the point? <laughs> I don't know, Brian. Um, I'm kind of, like, over the big the big two, you know, Call of Duty and Halo. Also, uh, you cannot change the bone structure of your Spartan at all. You can only change, get this, the thickness of the Under Armour. It doesn't actually change the bone structure. It changes the thickness and possibly slight distribution of uh, fat on your Spartan's body. <laughs> no alterations to bone structure because, you know, that is forbidden. That is absolutely forbidden. Everyone needs to look like a cube because cubes are, you know, eventually some, some blocks are going to be the blockiest. And so that's going to be blockiest, as we call it. It's, you know, when you dislike certain blocks because they're blockier than you, that's blockist. So, I guess. Yep. I don't know, Brian. I don't know things. I, I, I just, Operation I just, uh, Yellow Knife. I just, I just don't work here, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Jake told me the hilarity that it's only 24 gigs, which I'm like, of course it is, because... The campaign's missing. No, but, yeah, because it has nothing. It has nothing, man. Five maps. Well, Five, I will. I will say. Tested. I will say the talk of the town isn't Halo right now. It's it's the autumn sale that's gone up. In case you haven't noticed. Oh, it just it went up already, huh? Yep. So I was looking at a couple games, specifically Beam.ng, and apparently one game that you forgot to always talk about that you no longer mention anymore for some reason. Huh. Predator Hunting Grounds. Is that the the? Isometric? No, that's the one where you get to either play as the Marines or as the Predator and get to yeah, either go up that, against that it. is isometric. That, it's that not is, isometric. Uh, it's first person. Yeah. It's a first person shooter. Slash, uh, what's it no, called? No, no, no. Uh, Grant, Grant corrected me on what asymmetric is. It means like Isometric. one person is, is the bad guy and you have four other people versus I think that you're person. using the wrong word because isometric is not the word you want to be using then. Uh, let me check. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, because it's 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 not equally sided. It's isometric. It's not. It has no symmetry. Isometric definition. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, in anatomy. Yeah. Oh, I thought. Okay, this one says isometric is of or having Operation equal Yellow Knife. But that's anatomy. <laughs> So it has to be asymmetric, is, is the right word. N not isometric, but asymmetric. And then, and then there's a word here that says isometric game graphics. Graphics employed in video games and pixel art that use a parallel projection, but which the angle viewpoint is to reveal facets of the environment that would otherwise not be visible from a top-down perspective. Or side view. Yep. Thus producing a three-dimensional effect that is technically not three dimensions. That is isometric. So yeah, you're right. Isometric is not the word. It, the correct word is asymmetric. 
Well, from what I saw in the gameplay footage, it's either a first-person shooter or a third-person for the Predator, so I don't know. Yeah, because it's it's basically like... It's like, you know, Dead by Daylight, but with Predator and... User and your fight the Predator. Yellow. Hey, who's this? Hey, it's Jake. Oh. <laughs> no, it's just Jacob. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I mean, have you ever played a game like this? Nope. It, it looks cool. No, I got dead again. I, I did see it once, but as soon as I found out that it's like one person versus the player. See, that's why you must always pay attention to the mountain. Where, are you playing any games right now, or are you... Oh, yeah, no. If you want to watch, um, I'm playing uh, the original Rainbow Six Vegas from 1998. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, I mean, you should... The only thing I, would... I, would, I would recommend you checking it out. Buy... It's, it's pretty fun so far. The only thing I had on my mind for the sale... Yep, there it is. Sale of Infinite Season 1. Free to play. The only thing that... I was looking to buy, of course, the Zombie Army 4 DLC. Uh, the DLC campaigns. So, that, that's about it. I, I can't think of any other game that I'd be willing to get. Beam.ng. Let's see, do I even have... Uh, all the th items on my wish list are not out yet. <laughs> and there's only one. Don't! Oh! There it is. I was like, my wishes. Upstairs yep. and downstairs. They seem kind of confident. Operation for Yellow. 40, uh, K Dark Tide uh, official release date around spring of next year. Sons of the Forest, as we know, the legendary going to be game of the year 2022. Game of the year, co-op game of the year. It's going to win all every reward, every award uh, next year. Uh, yes. That one is most likely going to be mid-2022, which is perfect because I would say the perfect time for them to release that game is June. June 2022 is the perfect time to release Sons of the Force. June is when all the kids get out, you know, school, they're hungry for some co-op adventure, boom. We're hungry for some, some co-op adventure right now, and what's going to cure that is some beam.ng, as I told you be like before. Well, why don't we just wait for that game instead of car It's already car out. Game. It's already out. Well, it's an early access, but... Remember I told you I found the mod that lets you actually play multiplayer on there? Have you tested it? I haven't tested it yet because I don't own it. Jacob actually should have been the one testing it, but I'm going to go buy it and test it, and then I'm going to get everybody the copy of it. Okay, it's if you it's have the confidence that it works... Have I ever had anything wrong before, Brian? The only thing I, I, I'm still waiting on you to test is the Resident Evil 5 uh, multiplayer one. No, that one doesn't exist. So the guy had a program in which he was able to get two additional bots to run in the game because it turns out that the game like has that built in. It has it where it's okay for four, four people, but not like multiplayer-wise. But it doesn't seem like it would be that hard to just take the multiplayer aspects, literally the net code that's used for mercenaries, and put that into the campaign. Even though the campaign has some nuances Does with the, other, the quick time okay, events works. and stuff like that. Yeah, there you go. Yep. That's me. That's How's me. it going there, Jacob? <laughs> oh, what are you doing out there? Yeah, he is streaming right now, so. Yeah. Doing good, we'll doing good. About, you know, Friday. <clears throat> uh, okay, so uh, are you downloading uh, Halo Infinite Jake on Steam? I'm gonna try. Okay, it's garbage, man. I get, I get it. You know, free game that Chris can play with us, but there's no substance, man. It's just a shooty shooty. That's it. It's literally just a shooty. Rudy tooty point and shooty. Yeah. It has no substance. Like there's a grapple hook. Oh, okay. Kind of go. You kind of go up. Yeah. Okay. 
You know, I know a game that did that a lot better. I, I can I can name, well, I can name two games that did that perfectly. They didn't even do it correctly as much. Uh, there's like a deployable shield. There's good old, and then active camo and the overshield are uh, boosts that you have to earn through kills. And like I said, there's no point to any of those other than it slightly changes the gameplay. Slightly. <laughs> huh. It's like, oh, I, t I can take a little bit more damage. Oh, the enemy can't see me as good. That's it. You can't do anything with those powers. They failed in terms of improving game design. Not how you make a good game. Which is the same problem GTFO fell into. Yeah, it's a, kind of a new IP. Trying out the idea of going on a four-player co-op mission. But the gadgets, they don't do anything more than just, you know, pew-pew and that's it. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, that that seems to register now. So... I want... Rudy, 2D, point and shooty. I want innovation in my Halo games. <laughs> There he goes. He finally gets it. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't even do that in the game, which is disappointing. I don't. I don't like how he. We barely Halo do finishes. that in most games. I mean, Call of Duty is our most famous example where he could do that very easily, which was hilarious. Halo just... Infinite currently is appealing to kids who have never played a Halo game in their life, who don't even know what Halo is. That's what they're appealing to. What? And Halo Infinite? Yes. Okay, then uh, I think Chris is a little bit of a, you know, veteran for Halo. Chris hasn't seriously gamed in like six years, maybe even ten years. <laughs> uh, playing a game it's right now. something that he's going to be gaming, so, you know, I guess. It... Just because he can. It's like no effort at all. It, you know, you ask him to get a brand new gaming PC, that's a little bit too much because, hey, he's not a gamer. So... Is, you know, that's. I, I get it, you know, a little fun shooty shooty. But honestly, we'd have more fun just playing the Master Chief Collection, uh, online multiplayer. Playing Halo Reach, Halo. Uh, doesn't he have it already? Halo 4. No, he doesn't have it on his Xbox One, right? Yeah. Right, that's what he's using? He's using the Xbox One, not the Series X? Yeah, he's got the, he's got the One, not the X. <laughs> Stupid naming. Yeah, yeah we concepts. know. It's a dumb naming convention. We all know about how stupid the naming convention is. Trust me. The Xbox X squared. Oh, the X squared. Not the one over X? No, that's a different version. The one over X was before the X squared? Yes, that was right. Yeah. The Xbox squared. The Xbox squared? That's different than the Xbox X squared. The Xbox squared is literally a square versus the Xbox X squared is X squared. So... That's the route they're headed towards. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Anyway, yeah, it's only 24 gigs, sure. I'll install the the, the meatless sandwich onto my computer and play it for you. And we'll just be like, choo choo, oh boy. One thing they did like though is they added a little more character to the uh, suit AI. And I was like, okay, cool. You know, that's something. I mean, like I said, I, I'll, I think they I'll were give like, it a oh. shot, but my, my ex expectations for it are pretty much in the toilet. Excellent. So then you I might like the game then. I think they were like, oh, hey, um, you already had all the cool stuff like assassinations and, you know, anything other than a gun to use in the previous Halo game. So you don't need that in this one. You don't need all that Good. stuff. Did in you remember Halo all Infinite. the choreography, Lenny? Well, thank you. Hello, everybody. You this is fun. just a little rehearsal for tomorrow, so we may be a little rusty. <laughs> Do 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 well. There's a place that is magical and full of rain. But now it needs help because it is in pain. Cleaning the earth is a mighty big chore. We're spreading awareness like never before. Getting gay with kids is here. To spread the word and bring you cheer. Let's save the rainforest. What do you say? Being an activist is totally gay And someday if we work hard, boys and girls There'll be nothing but rainforests covering the entire world, world. world. Getting gay with kids is here To spread the word
Get up and bring you cheer. Yeah. Oh, he, he just Getting gay he just with kids is here. So stand in the rainforest, totally gay. It. Uh, it's totally gay. Yeah. Great job, gang. You were really all over the place, Kyle. Thanks. I told you Jewish people don't have rhythm. Fuck off, Cartman! No, dude. I think Cartman might actually be right. No. That's a stereotype. Dude, maybe you really don't have any rhythm. Uh, would you be up for playing something tonight? Then maybe we could quickly try something out. Yeah, or maybe. I'll play I don't know. Give it a moment or two. I'm trying to do something here in Rainbow Six, and I'm getting uh, I'm getting my butt handed to me. <laughs> yeah, no, he says he's gonna go to sleep soon. Okay. Who, Jacob? Yeah, cause no, oh, uh, Grant. It says no. it's past midnight. So, okay, he just wanted. He, he totally just got satisfactory. I had my eye on it, but I'm like, wait a second. It's literally just building, and building more factories and systems to sustain your product for more factories and systems. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, that's part of the mechanical like addiction of the game because apparently it's highly addictive for people who really love stuff like that. And I know Grant's a builder. He loves to build. I'm like, okay, it's kind of cool because you can build vehicles and kind of explore the map, even though there's really nothing to explore on the map. There's kind of like creatures, and there's kind of like mountains and stuff, and that's about it. In terms of like I said, number one game of the year, Sons of the Forest. Make sure all of your viewers know that, that Sons of the Forest 2022 is going to be the highlight of the gaming year. Oh, this is going to be a bad one. Boy, is he in for a surprise. If your family is anything like mine, they like eating snacks made with new fat-free fat substitutes. But they can cause anal leakage, and that can be a problem. <laughs> well, flush those problems right down the toilet, because now there's Cholestra, the new fat substitute with 10% less anal leakage. That's right, 10% less anal leakage. Just think of the convenience that 10% less anal leakage brings. Oh, hey, you. Ooh, I just had 10% less anal leakage. <laughs> That's because I switched to new Cholestra with 10% less anal leakage. 10% less anal leakage? Wow. That's a lot less anal leakage. Yeah, it sure is a lot less anal leakage. Watch. This represents the anal leakage caused by foods made with regular fat substitutes. And this represents the anal leakage caused by foods made with new Cholestra with 10% less anal leakage. Sorry, honey. You got that I'm not sure I understand. Like, uh, hmm. Take a look at this. <laughs> This indicates the anal leakage caused by foods made with regular fat substitutes. And this indicates the anal leakage caused by foods made with new cholesterol, with 10% less anal leakage. Oh, honey, now I'm really confused. Let me put it to you this way. This is your diaper after eating foods made with regular fat substitutes. And this is your diaper after eating foods made with new cholesterol, with 10% less anal leakage. Wow, I think I'm beginning to understand. Good, I'm fine looking at it this way. We followed around a man for a week who ate foods made with regular fat substitutes. And this is what we got. And then we followed a man around for a week who ate foods with new cholesterol, with 10% less anal leakage. Now do you understand? You know what? I, I think I'm just about one example away. Well, how about this? Here's how many french fries we fried in leakage caused by foods made with regular fat substitutes. And here's how many french fries we fried in leakage caused by foods made with new cholesterol, with 10% less anal leakage. Wow, I get it. Do you? No, but I don't think I can take any more examples. Oh. <laughs> you know, as a businessman, 10% less anal leakage is important to me. Now I can almost sit my way through an entire meeting. And our sheets will be a little less soiled, thanks to new cholesterol, with 10% less anal leakage. <laughs> hey, you. You better start getting ready. Ready for what? We're going to the first two acts of the ballet. The ballet? Oh, honey. Now, sweetheart, you... Excuse me. <laughs> Just think about that, Brian. Ten percent less anal leakage. God damn, man. Okay, so this sale is disappointing, dude. A lot of Why? games are not on sale during the fall sale. How do you figure? I just checked. Okay, what are you uh, looking for? There's only like five games out of Grant's entire wish list that are on sale. That's it. 
And it's not even big that much. It's like 25% off. That's it. But one of them is like 50% off. Yeah, some of them are on sale. Others aren't. That's the thing. Yeah, I would say let's wait till the winter sale to really like... Uh, Zombie Army 4, like it's 10% off each DLC. It's still... Most of it's still not there. Let's I hear you. 33% um, off each season pass. That's not too bad. That's something. But that still equates to... God, it still equates to over. Ah, oh boy, let me get these. Let me go like this. Yep. That was a stupid thing. No. No! <laughs> No, yeah. no more light bulb. No more light bulbs. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, seventy dollars and thirty-two cents, man. Oh, holy holy. for all the, that's a whole new game. <laughs> hey, Brian, you want to check out my stream and watch uh, a an amazing thing happening? Like just these the comp like the computer always knowing where you are, even if they never got to you. Like it's, oh, yeah. it's amazing. Do you remember playing the level uh, in uh, Rainbow Six Las Vegas 2, uh, where you're all alone? Yeah, I do, Brian. Uh, believe me, I do. But this is uh, on a different level. Uh, uh, Jake and I prove you can play it together in co-op. You can have someone with you. In that Brian, level, thanks to Brian, I, I got that uh, part, but I want you to understand something. This is on a different level. He had no reason to go into that room. But he did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. He had no reason to look in that corner. But he did. Yeah, that's, I think I'm gonna wait. Uh, wait out the sale. I'm gonna wait for uh, winter. Winter sale. That's fine. It's it'll be around the corner too. It'll be about Christmas time, and we'll get Beam.ng software then, and then we'll be blaming. I think I can get better deal. Also, there's no deal on any uh, you know games, pre-order games. So. Well, there's there's barely any deals on pre-order games. They never do yeah. pre-order deals. Uh, well, you know. GTFO was a good example of a pre-order bonus deal. I think you got 25% That off. one started in early access. Never forget that. But you were able to pre-order the early access version for about 25% off. So it brought it down to like $14. Like, eh, that's pretty good. Halo Infinite, free to play. It's, my god, it's, it's empty, man. It's empty. Where's the Halo I remember? Sure, it's flashy and kind of good graphics, reasonably well optimized. But that's just the basics, man. I mean, you that look at. Is we didn't really it? need all that. I mean, I still I played the entirety of the Halo One's campaign on the Master Chief Collection, even on the uh, on the regular. What do you call it? Dude, with, with Halo Infinite, we're lucky. There's even a sprint button. <laughs> There's lucky they, they didn't just remove Sprint all on and say, Sprint is, you know, as a little too much chaos to the mix. It's like chaos is what you want in a game, especially a multiplayer game. Yep. All the Spartans look the same. You don't get very many rewards for playing at all. And you can't pay for power, of course, but that's a good thing. Um, I'm, just, I'm disappointed, man. Okay, all I want no. is my niche Damn stuff. It. I just wanted my assassinations. They're like, eh, we didn't have the time, apparently, to do simple animations. Not even just one animation. Not even just one. <laughs> Don't bother. Just checking. Checking what? Not even one animation. They couldn't even make one assassination animation. Not even one. Congratulations. Halo I do want Infinite. to thank everybody for sticking around here as this game has been completely unstable to the very least. Operation Yellow here. Knight. Congratulations, Halo Infinite. You ruined pizza. Uh, Jacob will take care of it. Because it's missing yeah, that power cable, Dad. Yeah, I know. Oh. You're going to... Yeah, you're going to... You, you need the right cable, Dad. It just... It... You're going to take care of it, huh? You're going to take care of it. Anyways, um, 
yeah, I want to thank everybody for still sticking around here as this game just doesn't want to stay stable and it just will sometimes crash. Like I said, Dude, I just... No, it's, well, it's the best you can do in a game that was made for only Windows 98 operating soft systems uh, trying to run on Windows 10 hardware, and the people who ported it, i.e. Ubisoft, didn't exactly do a good job of that. So if even though you can... games, man, just, just uh, use an emulator. I don't... Well, oh, there's an answer to that. Hey, Fetch, how's it going? Hope you're having a good night so far. Um, I don't need to use an emulator for this. Uh, it's... I'm doing good. How about you, my man? I'm getting close to that uh, Thanksgiving, so I know everyone's excited for that. I know I am. Um, so there's actually a mod for this game, and I'm gonna, and I'll get to that once I complete the main 16 missions on this one. You do kind of seem like. Are you uh, doing decent? A big That's Thanksgiving good. fan. Thanks, bro. <laughs> yeah, well, you really like the holiday for some reason. I do like the holiday. It's a pretty cool holiday. Um, but yeah, so um, basically. Um, the mod is called Black Ops, and okay. basically what it is is they that. yeah well it's the Rainbow <laughs> Six Black Ops mod. So basically what it does is it takes all fifth all the missions plus the DLC. So there's 16 missions in this one that I'm playing, and that one uh, adds all the DLC missions. I think it's in total like 52 plus missions, uh, and it puts it all together and it fixes all the issues that you had with there with uh, NPCs not spawning. Or things like that. So it's a very, very uh, good uh, mod, in my opinion. Okay, well, if it works. It does. I just haven't had a chance to give it the old college try. But, uh, yeah. So I hope you're having a good night so far, Fetch. I'm doing pretty good. It's just that uh, this game is... Uh, This game is really a piece of work. See what I mean? It just crashed again. So basically, Brian, what it does... Well, here's why it's crashing. So basically, the game loads, and it's it's standard gameplay, right? But it has these still images for loading screens, and it apparently it tries to cycle through them, Operation Yellow and that's where the problem happens. So every so often, it will actually crash because of some, like I said, the way it's designed, because it's going from the still graphics resolution to the actual game res re re resolution. So like I said, the Black Ops uh, mod fixes all of it, and you can get it on Mod DB. But I think if you had an emulator, it would just... I tried. I, well, I tried Mod DB and it actually worked much better. I'm um, technically am running it through an emulator or a third-party system uh, program. Um, yeah. And that called, might be part of the problem too. So. Well, it's the only way I could get it to run. On, I'm not even joking about that. This thing does yeah. not want to run in full screen. Win, uh, full screen mode. You have to run it in windowed mode. But yeah, dude. Get this. Um, in Sea of Thieves, they gave me that you probably have it too. They gave me a Spartan figurehead. It's literally the Master Chief on the front of your ship. <laughs> but that's not all. They also have a whole uh, Master Chief hole paint. So uh, UNSC, UNSC nice. uh, sails, wheel, cannons, and capstan. So nice. uh, uh, you can have now an entire Halo themed ship in Sea of Thieves. <laughs> so that was funny. It, lo it looks like they gave it to people who I think own either the Master Chief collection. Or, yeah, it has to be, because I don't have Halo Infinite installed. Yeah. Cool. Oh, uh, we're probably going to be trying it out this weekend, actually, so... Ah, oh, someone... Halo Infinite. Yeah, someone so... Someone curious about Halo Infinite? Yeah, one of my f uh, followers right now fetches uh, hearing you talk about Halo Infinite, so yeah. he's a little curious. Excellent. Oh, we'll be playing it. <laughs> one of yeah. those Halo curious, as you know. Which are we going to do for, for Thanksgiving, then? We're going to be playing? Uh, why don't we leave it for Friday? Oh, oh yeah, nice. David's, David's gonna be too stuffed. He loves that holiday. <laughs> well, you know me. I love to eat. Mr. Pumpkin Pie. <laughs> oh, oh, you've already played it, Fetch? Uh, so, Brian, uh, Fetch says it's pretty fun to play. Yeah, I, I can see the gunplay is, is fun, mechanically satisfying. A few fun things like, you know, the grapple hook. Stuff that is new and innovative. But where are my where are my assassinations, huh? Where are my uh, where are my assassinations, huh? <laughs> That's all I can add. 
That's all I wanted. And also, I would like, uh, you know, more customization around the Spartan skeletal structure. That's, uh, that's all I ask. Alaska? Yes. That's, uh, that's all I ask. There's a bit of more creativity with my Spartan experience. So, that's... I play the game differently. I don't use guns at all. And so it's like, oh, well, then, of course, you're going to be disappointed in a shooter that uses guns. It's like, I don't use guns. <laughs> and I was having so much fun in the previous Halos because I could play viably without using any guns. Uh, Fetch says, Halo yes, Infinite. the assassinations I got, and it makes him sad. But he also says there's a lot of customization. Uh, there's some. Uh and that, that's that's excusable the like armor pieces and stuff that's fine that will come later because they just started but you know like like the active cloak the active camouflage I, I, it mechanically seems to work pretty good but what's the point of having it when surprise surprise pew 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 I wanted a much cooler surprise to give my enemies when I'm cloaked in the that was the whole point of having optical camouflage, is you could be an actual ninja. But my now, my space ninja doesn't exist. Space ninja build. No more. But, like I said, they're probably like, oh, you got the Master Chief Collection? Go play that. <laughs> Dad, do you ever get like, that fine, not so fresh feeling? You mean from the collection of Smegma around the head of my uncircumcised penis? What the <laughs> hell? No! <laughs> Natural, son. Smegma's the building. Bry Wolf's in the house. Hey, Bry Wolf. <laughs> hey. Let, let, let's, get a, let's get a howl in chat for Bry Wolf, huh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dad, I meant feeling fresh and awake in the morning. I'm having trouble getting up in the morning. Oh. Well, Smegaway's not going to help with that. I know! <laughs> you better not tell anyone about my smelly dick! <laughs> How's it going, Bry Wolf? Hi. Tickets, please. Yep, Dude, I'm gotta play that one too. So many Operation Point <laughs> Magic. Jesus, the Horizon tickets, Corporation please, Central Computer System is located things. in its headquarters in downtown San Francisco. Your call mission is to infiltrate people. this building, tap into so their system, and extract all information that, hey, hey, about stay the back. activities I'll of kick the Phoenix I'll, I'll kick your shin, bro. Wow, you are just ladies and gentlemen, the Jackie Chan of human shielding. Who takes the time to get this good at this? Hold on to something. Keep your head inside. Did you tweet, David, that you were streaming today? Yeah, I did. Didn't I? Okay, there you go. I was gonna say, how do they know? Surprise bonus stream. Oh, they know. I'm pretty sure I tweeted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is your intro, Brad Wolf. That's how we know you're here. And this is how I let my audience know you're here. Oh, Bob, you get a fucking clue. Vito. That's Donnie DeVito you just said. Can you believe this fucking guy doesn't know who Donnie DeVito is? Who you mean, the singer? No, the fucking actor, Donnie DeVito, the guy who's married to Rhea Perlman. Oh, I like him in Hellboy. That's Ron Perlman. Shh, does it matter how Chumbawaki is back on? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? You Both represent. of you, you're fucking from another planet. I can't believe we live in the same country. Oh, the fucking phone's ringing during hockey I'm night in Canada. Who's calling during hockey night in Canada? Who the fuck even has a hard line anymore? Oh, Jumbo, rip the fucking phone out of the hole! What's next? You gonna have someone deliver a pizza during the fucking overtime? Huh? <laughs> yeah. uh. Well, uh, does Bry Wolf have anything to comment about Halo Infinite? About Halo <laughs> Infinite? <laughs> uh, God, I love that clip so much. Yeah, Fetch, it's, uh, I love Super Troopers too, and that's such a good clip. But um, I don't think Bry Wolf has played Halo Infinite. Um, okay, I think that's fine. I think Bry Wolf only has a, a PS4, uh, so... It, oh, it doesn't work on that? Yeah. I thought it did. <laughs> uh, wait, what? He doesn't have a... He has a PS4, not a PC. What a stupid yeah, it's, idea! Oh, but, oh, oh it's Microsoft. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoopsie. Oh, boy, 3 a.m. 
why don't my Microsoft game work on my PlayStation? <laughs> uh, don't worry, I got a few more for you here, pal. Love this one too. I don't know why they would say that I'm immature, but if you think that my show is immature, then I would like to dedicate this next piece to whoever wrote that article at People. You should play this other one. The, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> One second, guys. Give me one second here. Dad, what are you doing? It kind of looks like you're bringing stuff down. Why didn't? Yeah, why didn't you ask? I'm right here. I'm fine. Don't worry about here. Dad, we can do it on we can do it on Friday. Super, I need to talk about. I don't. So short. I need to do something. What do you mean you need to do something? I want to go. I'm going to go crazy if I don't. That's all. Okay, what the? They're 20. Eso no significa que es lo que te puede vivir. Maldita sea, Gigi. A veces me pones furiosa. No puedo hablar contigo, Gigi, cuando te pones así. Me voy a ver los toros, Gigi, Gigi, Gigi. What? Oh, Lord, Jesus. This is worse than that time I had to fess up to the nation. My fellow Americans, I have not been entirely truthful with you. I did gagoogity that girl. I gashmoigity her gaflavity with my googus. And I am sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, no problem, uh, Fetch. Thank you for stopping in, dude. I appreciate it. You have a good night, okay? And have a happy Thanksgiving. Ah, man, what a night. We just started. <laughs> yeah, but... Doesn't feel like it. Like, you get a free start to your weekend. A four-day weekend, right? Yeah. There you go. Do you get, like, time off for winter? Or for Christmas? Uh, I mean, I got Christmas off. Okay, that's not the same, but <laughs> I guess that's something. Some people don't have Christmas off, so. Waiting for orders. Gotta keep the lights on. Yeah. And most likely that'll be me. I'll be working Christmas most likely uh, when I get I mean, it's... Super job. Oh yeah, no, it's I'm taking just a little bit. I'm gonna push it, but I don't wanna push it too much. We got a big day of preparations tomorrow. So I'm just oh, doing my best. Do you have like lots of family over? Uh just the normal amount of family that we have. I'm not quite sure what a normal amount is, but <laughs> no, not, no nothing too excessive.
Yeah, same with us. It's pretty much just gonna be us and our aunt. So nice and hopefully relaxing Thanksgiving. Yep. We might watch a movie too. Oh, nice. You got you took two weeks off. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's good, Bry Wolf. Yeah, it's always nice to take vacation. And me, I don't usually take that much time off. I usually just kind of resolve to having about a about a few days out of the year, and that'll be enough for me. A few days out of the year, and that's enough for you. <laughs> the most time I ever take off is for Comic Con. And that's what, like it. three days, and then okay, I'm good to work the whole. About rest of six. The Oh, shit. About six, actually. Six, to be specific. Operation Deep Magic. Horizon Corporate. Oh, yeah, no. It's, it's always nice to be able to chill with your family, you know. Uh, relax. Those kind of things. Some people find it hard to chill around their family. <laughs> Like, you know, Chris was saying, it's a little bit of a contest when his family comes over for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Third floor. Third floor, smaller office. Well, you, you want to play like Resident Evil 5, dude? We can switch yeah, it up. In a minute. I, I got warmed up with Grant. Oh, day. yeah. I, I'm, oh, yeah. I don't know what I was... Grant's doing tomorrow. Honestly. Well, we'll figure something out. Don't worry. Well, it doesn't sound like we're going to get on, but I probably will. <laughs> Am I going to be the only one? <laughs> no, you're not going to be the only one. Be like, hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Party for one, right here. You'll be all right. Um, but yeah, no, I I actually went uh, back in first year was 08. We went, and I usually go every single year. It's kind of my favorite thing to do. Mostly, I we used to go a lot more when we had uh, a full crew of friends going, but uh, these days, uh, not so much. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, Comic Con. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I I think I yeah I've only gone once. Yeah, you only went that one time, and they were showcasing out Gold Guild Wars Two. Yeah, Guild Wars Two, by the way, is still a really great game. Um, yeah, I'm starting to think that because of WoW's certain failures now recently that a lot of people are going to actually go over to Guild Wars 2. Yep. It's just Guild Wars 2 was I want to say like a little bit ahead of their time and so the technology just wasn't there for what they were trying to do unfortunately. But still it's a really fun experience. You can do just about anything in that game. Oh yeah absolutely. And it's free to play. Holy smokes, man, that reminds me. That was over 10 years ago. Waiting for orders. I was just thinking about that. I going outside today. I'm like, wow, this is the winter 10 years ago when I graduated from high school. Yeah, dude, it's been a, it's been a hot I minute. I was like, man, here I am standing in the same place. You know, uh, my first winter after graduating high school. Those were ago. the days. Yeah. You know, my first winter <laughs> after graduating college. Oh yeah, now we saw some pretty good jokers over the years for Comic-Con. Uh, one of them, very, very good. He always comes with his, uh, I think it's his girlfriend or his wife, and they cosplay as both the Joker and the Harley Quinn. They're pretty cool people. That's good. Yeah. yeah. They're very good at, at what they do. Yep, some people got a knack for that. I don't oh, yeah. have that. 
Well, the best I could do was Gandalf, but you didn't get to see it. Although you kind of did with my, my party. Yeah, that's alright. That was fun. Like I said, David, uh, next time you can't get out of going to a Halloween thing next year. Yes, yes, yes. You keep saying that. So get a costume ready or something, because I'm going to be dressing up. <laughs> you can be an Arabian Jedi. That'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, everyone seems to like Harley Quinn a whole lot. Me, I was always a Poison Ivy guy. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, you and Jake. Yeah, yeah dude, I love Poison Ivy. What, what, what about her, though, that seems so great? I mean, she's a scientist, I guess, right? Yeah. She's got, I guess she's got that femme fatale kind of vibe. Yep. But so does, like, Hey, Haji, how's it going? And Catwoman is by far more athletic. That's what everyone says. I, I prefer Catwoman because she's just so much more athletic, faster, and just I, uh, free flow. Voluptuous, I think, is the best way to describe. Uh, no, well, no, not well. I mean, comics, you know, depict unrealistic proportions. I think it's pretty realistic. Not for someone who does as much cardio as she does. <laughs> It, you know, what she does, she would have a lot more upper body muscle and stuff like that, but it's still pretty good, I guess, representation. It just, it's mainly the idea of who she is. She's kind of like this free-flowing thief who scales rooftops at night for fun, really. That, that appeals to me the most. She basically came from dirt poor beginnings and sort of, you know, scampered her way to... Yep. Living her own life, so I, I, I like that. That's a good song. Poison Ivy, on their hand, is I, she has different versions. Like, I like the version of Poison Ivy where she accidentally experimented on herself and then became who she is. Other ones say that she had like a mutation. Operation Deep Magic. That was just born that way. But, so that's cool too. So you're not downloading it right now, Jake. Yeah, okay. good. <laughs> no! I'm trying to gain you, man. See if these being of uh, service. I hope you're having a good night so, so far, Haji. Uh, is the clock pretty good, Jake? It's hot. Uh, man, it's smoking hot chip there, and sorry, getting conscious. But yeah, no. I always, sure you always get to catch the nice ones. You get. You get, uh. Black Widow, Emma Frost, you know, always the good ones. What, the Avengers? No, oh, no, Hot Chicks. Hot Chicks cosplaying as those characters. Oh, yeah. Well, times are changing, man. Yeah. You don't have to be a chick anymore to pull off a chick. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Uh, Thank you for that. Well, I mean, the technology is there in more ways than one. Yes, Brian, so yes, yes, yes. I think it's kind of cool because, you know, maybe women might not like it, but men kind of know exactly how to I mean, act most a guys, way. Most guys who dress up like Black Cat from Spider-Man. Yep, Black Cat, another good one. I always forget about her. Spider-Man's... Yeah. Uh, Which is basically a Marvel cat woman. That's what they well, want. not quite, but the fact is that Peter Parker should be going for her instead of Mary Jane, but this is all you need to need to know. Oh, I'm, go I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, like I said, if you want to play Resident Evil 5 right now, I'll go. I'll go just, give me a, just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Although I did catch a lot of fish, I do want to cook and sell. Trying to do something here, pal. I hope that's launching Resident Evil 5. Oh, hey, we could try Shit. out Resident Evil. Damn it, Brian. What? <laughs> did I distract you? Yes, dude. I'm trying to do this like really, like this really, um, dumb mission. I gotta get into this one area to turn off the security cameras. But naturally, I can't do it while killing people. Okay. Oh yeah, no, it's... In the comics, you always want Spider-Man to choose Black Cat, and you always figured that he'd have a better shot at doing it, but he always ends up choosing Mary Jane for some reason. That, that honestly makes it feel more realistic. No, I, don't, I would have chosen Black Cat in a heartbeat. Well, because it's sort of like a message on life, you know. We typically can't get the ideal, you know. 
the ideal sitting right in front of them. He's just choosing not to choose it. But metaphorically, we kind of do that in real life, though. Like, the ideal is sitting right in front of us, but do we ever go for it? Probably not. Yeah, well, that's what you we, think. We like to go back to the basics, what, what we're familiar with, you know. That's, that's what, what you think. That's what you think. But Black Hat represents uh, the risky character, you know. We don't really it represents know the really better outside. character. But that's neither yeah. here nor there. Just Let's give me a second here. here. Just give me a second here. I got to I got to time this correctly because there's a bunch of pricks over here and here. Cuz this this mission and the last mission are ridiculously uh, hard. Uh, so basically you have to, it's not so much that they're hard, it's just you have to get in and out without killing anybody. I don't know. And I'll always like, represent Ivy, I I've always found Poison Ivy to be like a monster. <laughs> she's Oh, she's, she's a little inhuman, of... yeah. No, 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 she's a lot inhuman. Like, she's. Well, not she just values plants more than. Well, she values plants. Well, she plant. is a plant. Well, not <laughs> exactly, no. Her origin's yes, not really there. She that. does photosynthesize and stuff. Uh, um, I mean, yeah, in the game, sure, because she's actually crossed over. In the comics, she's more of a. has more control of her plants, sure, but at the same time, it's just. it's not how it works. I don't know, she's scary because. She's just not human, and she has another agenda going on that kind of involves human science. So, well, what her ideal? Man down, man down. Oh come on, dude! Why is this? <sighs> Damn it! Uh, no, yeah, but without so... humans, she wouldn't exist, or nor have the ability or technology that. Her she thing is, she wants before. to repair the planet, but she doesn't care about humans, and she's willing to commit mass genocide for that. That's, she's an eco terrorist, and that fits with her bill because she was introduced in the, originally in the 1960s. An, e an eco terrorist at best. <laughs> Wait, who, who are you talking about? Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. Wait, what am I doing? Poison Ivy is an eco terrorist at best. <laughs> okay. How who would you, you like about? it? How would you like it if someone plopped me okay. out? And maybe, a big plant maybe you think it's a victimless crime. This is you. Mr. Venezuela, the school janitor. Okay. He's the person who has to clean up when some trickster. Drops a duke in the wrong toilet. Mr. Venezuela makes six bucks an hour at best. Okay. He's got three kids at home. He's got a car that barely works. He's got to clean up puke with sawdust. Okay. Then he walks into the boys' room and sees a big meaty chud staring him in the face. So when you crapped in that urinal, okay, you might as well have just dropped your pants and laid a turd right on Mr. Venezuela's head. <laughs> Oh, you think it's funny, huh? You decide you're gonna be a comedian, okay? You pinch one off in the urinal. Leave it laying there for everyone to have to look at. Okay, okay, you think it's funny, but nobody else does. They gotta walk in that bathroom and see your ranted dick propped up against the back of the urinal like a brown rag doll. <laughs> Boys' bathroom is closed until further notice. Because one of you thought it would be a good idea to pull down your pants, okay? Hover your butt cheeks over the urinal and squeeze out a chocolate hot dog. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, she funny, is. Huh? But... Let me assure you, there is nothing funny about going up to a nice, clean, unsuspecting urinal. Okay, dropping your pants and then turning around, squatting over that urinal. Okay, maybe, maybe pulling your butt cheeks apart with your hands. Okay? And then laying out a big fudge dragon for all the world to see. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's real funny. When you duke in the urinal, it's bad, okay? How would you feel if somebody came into your home, okay? Pulled down their pants and laid a big mud monkey right on your mom's face. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, huh? Yeah, that's real funny. There we go. Okay, step one done. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. I'm not questioning that Poison Ivy isn't hot, because she is, even in her Arkham form, where she's a little more plant than anything else. But, as I've said, it's just... Okay, this guy is going to like, be here. She's just someone I, I don't want to get close to because she's kind of like a monster. Well, it's <laughs> like I said, like, she's... Like she's very, 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 very dangerous. She's the very definition of like biological warfare. Like, practically, she's a, a powerful walking bioweapon. Straight out of Resident Evil. Now she can infect you with just spores.
Yeah, I know. And unless I was some kind of superhuman, I mean, she was able to take. She was able to control Superman for a second there. Yeah, no, I know. It's part no, of the comics. It's, it's crazy stuff. Okay. Yeah. I think who else was uh, in the? Are you guys just sticking with well you, uh, any part of the DC universe or, or just the animated series? Well, you can use any part of the DC I guess universe. Anything, yeah, because different irradiations. E what about like uh, what's her name, Natalia, or whatever? Talia, not Natalia. It's just Talia. Yeah. Oh, Talia Ghoul. Yeah, Talia Al Ghoul. Yeah. Yeah, she's cool. I don't like her agenda though. <laughs> Well, naturally, all she wants to do is rule the world, but she wants to do it with Batman, and you can tell she really does actually care for him. Yeah, and that's a, that's really her only redeeming quality. Is that she wishes she didn't have to be bad, but she really doesn't see any other way. And that might be at fault it's of her more for her father brainwashing yeah. over her. Son of a bitch, dude. These guys are run a very tight ship once you uh, get into this corner because it's harder and harder. I might as well just go back out the other way then. Oh my god, is that CCR? God. Uh, gosh, every freaking... Fortunate son, man. That song that you never stop hearing. God. What song? Fortunate son. Fortunate son. Just yeah. Watch that, watch that Family Guy episode. Yeah, it's. God, you hear that? She has bat kids. Yep. Harley Quinn cartoons. Poison Ivy. So sad. She's pouring acid on the guys, and it's actually blood. So the the Harley Quinn show, I I didn't really get into. Um. I, I tried watching it. I just wasn't a big fan of it. It's pretty good, man. It's it's pretty good. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. I, I was okay with it. I, 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 I'm okay with the direction they took uh, Harley Quinn and whatnot. Uh, it's, they kept trying to make her more badass than what she actually was, to be honest. They actually you. made Poison Ivy, you know, seem human. You know, seem She was like an already person. seemed human. She did seem like that in the animated series. They didn't need that, uh, what's it called, in there. But they tried to... I didn't like the Batman, I mean the Harley Quinn show because it just kind of made, kept trying to make her more badass than what she actually was. Yeah, but I like that they made it because she's just kind of crazy and determined. Oh yeah, she's of course they, she's crazy. Everyone knows that. They, they basically took it like a Venture Bros approach in that show, which is kind of funny. I thought it was funny. Yeah, Work. but like I said, just, they kept trying to make her more of a badass than what she actually was, and I didn't. I wasn't going for that. I wasn't having any of that. It didn't seem that, like, powerful. What? No, she wasn't. She failed a lot, yeah, too. So. They really screwed up a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but at the same time, she's sitting there uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Aquaman. Like, come on. It's Aquaman. Yeah, a lot of people forget that Aquaman, um, because of all the time he spent at the bottom of the ocean... Okay, uh, when he's um, on actual land, he's actually very, very strong. But it's Aquaman. I know, I know, we know. We can't get past the Super Friends version of Aquaman, but Aquaman is incredibly strong in his own right, and a lot of people keep forgetting that. When you're living constantly in what? Let's see, you're near the bottom of the Marianas Trench, so that's like 15 miles... Uh, I, uh, I below think sea level. Up top because you're not acclimated to the new environment. Well, well, his body is essentially what going through the different pressures and uh, and coming up to the top of the surface. He's actually much stronger. Well, that's not quite how fluids work, but see, even though there's a lot of pressure on him, he still floats like a really light thing. So he actually doesn't have gravitational resistance like we do up here on land. So. I don't think he'd be super strong. He'd be like the anglerfish, where as soon as you bring them up surface, they deteriorate <laughs> because they're not made for low pressure. Well, it's Atlantean physiology. I'm not here to question it. But, but also, there's like a lot of magic involved with Aquaman too, right? Like he's got magic trident and armor and stuff. Yep. So. 
When it comes to magic, then that throws the whole rules out the window. Naturally. Like I said, with uh, Aquaman, he's a he's a, he's got that Atlantean physiology, so that's what you're looking for. Oh yeah, we're well aware of that, that Atlantean physiology. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see here, I'm just trying to get a sense of where these idiots are because I have to do I have to deactivate the security, got to get the thing, and then get out of here. Yeah, get out of there so that you can uh, regroup with your contact at the butcher shop. Don't make me kick your ass. Don't make me suck your dick. Don't make me cuddle you like a baby. Don't with your make me suck at the your dick. Shop. Watch your backs. All right? Yeah. So you're gonna play that next? Yes. All right, David. Maybe. Give oh, me a second. I mean, here. if you finish the mission, man, we can play right now. Since I know, just give me a second. I just need to, I'm almost done with the mission. I think. I think there's his computer. So well, it. I guess you know what, uh, Jake. Download Halo Infinite tonight, and I will take an honest crack at it tomorrow. And I will give my Ooh. review if you guys are going to get on tomorrow night about how it went. <laughs> we'll see. You. Oh, Halo Infinite is so great. Like I said, if you're new to Halo, sure, it's a great game. Look at all these space soldiers with their rechargeable shields. That's never been done before. Look at that. Wow, it's almost as if this game was full of shit. It just did that to me, huh? But if you're if you're a longtime veteran fan, I am disappointed in Halo Infinite right now. I'm hoping that that will change in the future. It probably uh, will. Hold up. Uh, Hang on a second here. Jesus. That's what I'm talking about. You make one mistake and then your ass is grass. Go down and get my colon cleansed thoroughly. You want your colon clean? Fine, I'm gonna clean mine. Yeah, now my colon is clean. I'm talking squeaky clean. What happened here? You gotta stop breaking gas. Don't break gas and destroy our meal. Don't tell me to stop. You wanna brought up colon cleanser and all that mess. I did not say anything about breaking gas. I said that I was gonna get my colon clean. You can talk about putting the tube in somebody's ass, but I can't break wind. I didn't say nothing about putting no holes up nobody's ass, please. I said. What you think of calling again? You think you run an asshole by the car wash? He choked the baby. I do what I want to do at this table. Case in point. Who did I call my name? Yeah, I called you if your name is. Keep in front of me. I talk this between the crack of your ass. Yeah, you know I can go all night. Fuck, I hope you fought to your asshole, folks. Oh, that's David, too. See what you made me do? Damn it, I messed up my pants. Damn, Dad. You got to clean him yourself, you rock. Ah, oh, uh, man. But yeah, so hang on, I, I almost did it. I just got I I rounded the corner at the wrong moment because that stupid jerk off was there. I always come out the worst possible time. I hate those jerk offs. The jerk guns are even worse though. Oh. So, no, that's actually the from the Nutty Professor movie, not the original with uh, Jerry Lewis. It's the one with um, Eddie Murphy. Hey, Jake, have you seen my avatar? No. Which isn't a bad movie. I just I hey, always preferred it, the course. original one. No, you know, that's just me. Well, I don't get it. I don't get it. What do you mean you don't recognize this? Uh, looking at my avatar? Or I'm assuming you're looking at David's avatar. Oh, oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, just didn't So you're interested in your Uncle Jimbo's big TV show, huh? No, we have to do a stupid report on Vietnam. You and Ned are the only guys we know who were there. Oh, yeah, we sure were. Was it fun? Carbon, what kind of stupid ass question is that? Of course it was fun. I'm sure it was in some ways. <laughs> some ways. Just like in a fast car. 
Yes. All right, let me see how far this guy goes. Oh, did I burn my fish again? Oh my gosh. He goes all the way to the end of the hallway, then he circles around. Okay. Did you see mine, Brian? No. It's nothing too complicated. Gonna download all these off of the GUI interface. The GUI. Dude, it's all GUI. Yeah. <laughs> you you didn't watch uh, CSI New York, did you, Brian? No. So um, uh, they were trying to figure out a live streaming snuff film that was being uh, shown. <laughs> I don't want any. Go home. You go home. You go home. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you gotta hop hop onto this hop onto the stream and check this out. <laughs> okay, well I'm cooking fish here, man. Uh let's see. <laughs> yeah, I like Jason <laughs> Soda. Hey, Chris, we're live right now. How's everyone doing? Good, how about you? We're live right now. Incredible, I heard you. <laughs> what are you guys playing? Well, I'm playing uh, Rainbow Six OG version. And apparently I'm having a fight with this guard over here on trying to keep the bathroom door closed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Nope. <laughs> yeah. All right, you have a good night, Bright Wolves. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you for the raid, my man. You have a good night, okay, and have a happy Thanksgiving. Ooh, how many, let me see, how many uh, followers you got? Or how many people view it? We got about five right now. Uh, nice. Pretty good. So, how's everyone else doing? Yeah, pretty good. Just fine, just fine. Right. I heard that you proposed a new game plan. <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. Out of nowhere. This is making a comeback. I guess so. Uh, maybe not the best comeback, but we'll see. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what. So, so far, um, it needs a little bit of tweaking in regards to controls. I didn't like the default control uh, layout they had. Um, but after that, and then if you guys liked Halo 4, which I'm pretty sure everyone here did, then you'll be well, right at home. This game is what Halo 5 should have been. I well, I liked Halo Four because of one Halo thing, and that one. was, of course, the assassinations. <laughs> All right, here. Let me go ahead and do this right here, guys. Give me one second. Like I said, man, what's the point of optical camouflage when I can't do anything with it? <laughs> okay, let's see who we can raid tonight, here, folks. Give me one second here. You gonna raid? You gonna raid someone? Yeah, I'm gonna raid somebody. If you enjoy the franchise, you enjoy Halo Four, Halo Reach, then you'll definitely like this game. Give me one second here. I always like to pay it forward to everybody. I'll I'll try it, but from what I've seen, uh, pay it forward know, to everybody. It's too bare bones. I'll, I'll try it, but a lot of content. I don't right, like the customization, see you. and right. I don't like uh, the lack of uh, armor abilities and so whatnot. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Always appreciate everybody so, stopping but by. We'll see. I'll try it. We'll out. go ahead and uh, yeah, pick this one go. up. I mean, the reason why I like it probably either tomorrow or Friday. You can jump in. Get into a game quickly. There's Have a good no night, BS. everybody. There's no Peace hassle out. about it. It's raid time. Play, uh, you know, play with your friends and get out, and that's it. Which you know, is a lot like other games. <laughs> well, 
that's the, the fluidity of it. It's just, it's so smooth, you know? There's no headache, there's no hassle about it. It's just, you're in and you're out, that's it. Have a good time. Yeah. Yeah, I have lots again like that that I, I just keep around yeah. just for a quick time. Yeah. Yeah. But like I said, it's like eating a sandwich that only has one little slim, uh, thin slice of meat, and that's Thank it. You for that that's what it is right now. Thank you so much. Oh, God. Everybody behave. Yeah, Multiplayer-wise. Uh, Minus a few uh, uh, glitches that I saw here and there. Hey, welcome I, hey, hey, it's a good, fun game, and like I said, if you're a fan of the franchise, oh, you'll like it. Yeah, I'm just a weird case because, weird. because uh, the weapons are pretty balanced. No, 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 no. Adjusting for the pistol, the needler maybe.